Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another Artist Alley vlog. Today is Cape Fear Pop Culture Fest Trick or Treat Edition. So today is October 26th, 2024. So we're doing like a Halloween themed show. So it is bright and early. It's like 7.30. The show is just actually just right down the road. So I gotta go get set up. I'm using a different layout for my table and I have not had a chance to actually do it in person yet I just don't have room where I live to test things out so I'm gonna get there early hopefully the setup works the way it's in my head and it'll be a great day so let's hit the road and get the show started and just like that I'm at the venue already. For you, it was an instant cut. For me, it was pretty much an instant cut. There was, it was like 35 seconds to get here. But right now, I have everything loaded up on my cart, ready to go inside. Trusty cart is filled and ready to go. Let's get inside, get everything unpacked. I had to move my vehicle to regular parking and then get set up. Oh, now the fun begins. And just like that, all, everything is moved in in the correct parking spot now. Now we get to go in and set up. And again, I'm not real sure what my setup is going to look like at this show. It's a work in progress, but I have two hours to figure it out. If worse comes to worse, I'll just default back to my standard, but I just want to do something different. They'll change things up, grow a little bit. <sighs> but I'm not nervous. Not at all. Excited, not nervous. All right, I had to come back outside. Setup took a lot longer than I anticipated. It's now 9.40, so like an hour and a half to set up. So earlier when I was out here at 7 a.m., it was cold and dreary. Now, it's bright as mess again today. So setup is done, took about an hour and a half. Good times. Let's do a walkthrough of the show now. My name is Jeff Zanilotti. I work uh, under Zed Comics Original. I'm the writer, creator, and author of the comic Accidental Renegades. Accidental Renegades is a manga-inspired comic book about superpowered mercenaries who are terrible at their jobs. The more they fail, the more notorious they become, and they eventually start a global revolution. So you can see issue one's here. We've got the original pages. Inspired by a lot of anime, a lot of manga, and a lot of uh, X-Men comics from the 80s and 90s. I feel like it kind of comes through my work. Not yet. Look, it really does. Holy crap.
So it is 9.54, show's about to start, and I've already sold $200 worth of prints. We are off to a great start. Okay, so while we have a, a lull and everything, I'm gonna give an update. We're two and a half hours in, and I've already exceeded last year's sales total. So that's very, very good. And if you're wondering why I'm like this, you're on a little countertop behind my table. I'm doing what I can, all right? Sales are better, foot traffic seems to be down. But two and a half hours in, very happy. So now, we are, <laughs> we got about an hour left in the show. Got a special surprise, got a guest. Stephanie's not paying attention. I'm not. There I'm we go. So, so this is your first like comic book con experience? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So what do you think so far today? Is it fun? Oh, we love talking. So, so it's been very busy today. There's not a lot of footage because we have been selling, well, she's been selling. I'm just standing here. <laughs> so it's been a great day. Uh, it's been a very, very good day financially. But we'll talk about that when I get home. <laughs> and so we got an hour left, and I will show you the breakdown. The show, Cape Fear Pop Culture Fest Trick or Treat Edition Fall 2024, was the best single day show I have ever had. And matter of fact, it was actually better than most two day shows I have done. How well did I do? I made a grand total of $690. I am very happy with that. A week later, I'm still giddy about it. No, I am not taking credit for that at all. That was pretty much all Stephanie. Stephanie is responsible for the vast majority of those sales because she is awesome. She did not have to come out and help me like that, but I really, really do appreciate it. What exactly did she sell? Three complete sets of prints, two of the Horror Icon Series 2 and one of the Horror Icon Series 1. I sold five copies of Shinju Universe, two copies of Issue 1 and three copies of Issue 2, one complete Shinju set, and then 30 prints. Now I'm not sure exactly the breakdown of the individual prints, but I do know that art here was the big winner for the day. This is actually the only print I have of art left. And the only reason I have this one is because it goes in the portfolio next to the original artwork I drew of art to make this print. Otherwise, he'd be gone too. So incredibly successful day. Very happy with how the show went. And I will definitely be doing it again in the springtime. I believe it's in March. I will definitely be there for that one. But before that, we have a show in December, which again, drew the poster for and is on screen right now. That one is a much shorter show, so I am not expecting the same kind of numbers, but the physical media show we did in July, I, I'm expecting comparable numbers to that. Why? Because local shows are the best with the local community and everyone around who loves to support the work of local creators. Every show we do here is going to be phenomenal. I actually, I absolutely love this community. 
the best. Thank you to everyone who came out to the show. Thank you to everyone who has ordered anything from my website from the last few weeks. It's been crazy. I do appreciate it. It's a little stressful, not going to lie, but I really do appreciate it. And of course, again, thank you to Stephanie for coming out to the show and helping me man the table because without her, I don't think any of this would have happened. She worked her tail off for me. I really do appreciate that. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.